Right, so what I'll do is I'll draw this triangle, I'll draw it smaller, so you can see. So that'll be my, so I'll draw this triangle smaller, so you can see. So that's 12, that's my 5, and that's my 13. I just drew it smaller. Right, look it up. Use photography theorem to verify, to check that ABC is a right angle triangle. So, what we want to do is these two, this square, so we're going to just prove that it is a right angle triangle. So these two squares, if I add the area of these two squares, it should be, add the area of these two, it should be the same as the area of the hypotenuse field, square. All right, so what's the area of this field? 12 by 12. 144. What's the area of the 5? 25. When I add the two of them together, I get 169. So if I get the square root of 169, I should get the length of this side, which is 13, isn't it? So there you go. I've proven that that is a right angle triangle. Is that right? Because the area of these two fields has added to this one. And when I get the square root of 169, the answer is 13. It works out perfectly, doesn't it? Yes. It all adds up. Right. Wait, sir, how do you know then that it's a right angle triangle? I know it's a right angle triangle because the area of these two small fields is equal to the area of this big field. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, just keep a look up. You don't have to write it, so it's recorded now. You can study it later on. Right. Find angle BAC. BAC. So that this is the angle A. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So which formula would you like to use? Remember, I told you when you're getting an angle, you use the what? Inverse. You use the inverse formula, don't you? So which one do you want to use? Do you want to use sine, cos, or tan? Can you use all three? Cos. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If I use cos. Which two numbers will I be using? Uh, if I use cos minus 1, remember? Alright, so if we use cos, it'll be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. 12 adjacent over hypotenuse. Do you remember that? This is how you get the angle. Remember, I always use the inverse, cos inverse. 12 over 13. This is the adjacent, cos is the adjacent over partners. So with your calculator, you go cos, oh sorry, shift, second function, cos, uh, fraction, 12 over 13. Close the bracket, equals 22.619, 22.619, or 22.62 degrees. Or if they want it as a just a whole number, it's going to be 23 degrees. Okay, could I have done the sum using sine? Could I have done the sum using sine? Yes. Sine inverse? Yes. Yeah, I could. Right, let's do it using sine. So sine is opposite over yes. hypotenuse. Look it up. I could use sine inverse, opposite, looking up, looking up, opposite, 5 over hypotenuse, 13. And will I get the same answer? I should. So, sine <coughs> inverse, so opposite is 5 over 13. 22.619, exactly the same. And it would be the, exactly the same answer as above here. Same as that. And I could use tan. If I was using tan inverse, what would I write? What two sides will I use? Opposite and adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. I'd be at 5 over 12. And I will get the same answer as that. I'd get exactly the same answer as those two. So remember you use the inverse if you're getting the angle. Alright?